All right, so I'm on El Capitan. Today, Affinity Designer 1.4 came out, or at least that's when I noticed it in the App Store as an upgrade. I updated it. I noticed in the release notes that it adds artboards, so I decided to search here for artboards. There's two new menu items under Layer, you can see there. So the way that it works is you can create an object of arbitrary size. Select that object, go to Layer, Convert Object to Artboard, so before I do that, first I'll name this like logo, for instance, and then um, so you'll notice normally you obviously have a document. It's a bounded size document. Well, now when you go to layer, convert object to artboard, instead of a bounded uh, document size, you have this sort of infinite size document the same way that Sketch 3 does. And now I have this, and you can actually color the canvas on that as well. You can lock it. So now it functions, from my understanding anyway, pretty similarly to Sketch 3's artboards. So if I take an object here, I can drag it out. Firstly, you see it's in the artboard there. I can drag it out of here. Now it's no longer in the artboard. Drag it back in, drag it to the edge, and it'll crop just like you'd expect in an artboard. And um, so you can add as many artboards as you want to a page. Or I shouldn't even say a page. Um, to a document the same way. And let's go ahead and see if I can drag this object from one artboard to the other. Works perfectly. So that's the new artboard feature. I don't know uh, if there are any awesome other features specific to this new artboard that I haven't yet discovered, but one thing I did also notice is that when you click into Export Persona, it gives you a slice automatically for each artboard, similar to how you always get a slice for your full document normally. And that one is now unchecked because it's sort of no longer relevant. Um, so that's basically it.